Hey everybody, it's Charlie. Come back into the Temple 420 Bible Study and thanks for coming. It's free admission, it's fragrance, it's free, it's a grant, it's Hebrew, English, and every other language combined in one big melting pot. Ironically, isn't America the melting pot? With the Statue of Liberty? I wonder what's brewing. I think it's can of balsam. So, as I grab a little bit more flour, for the altar of incense and the perfume and fragrance and food for Hashem, which is now my spirit in the temple with spiritual milk. Let's read the baptism of Jesus. So with that, we are talking about an unquenchable fire in your pit of your stomach and despair in your heart and the guilt and the weighed down and everything that is totally normal with everyday life. Everyday life. You are normal as normal can be. Here is your sign from heaven. It's a smoke sign. And if you were going to make a right turn or a left turn, you'd signal. If you're going to make a U-turn, you'd make sure that it was legal. If you're going to make a U-turn, return, or anything towards God, it has to be an E-turn. It's eternal. You're turning, etern- you're turning one life over to another life. You're saying, I quit. I Listen, if cannabis is the way and reading your book every day is the way, then sign me up and that's exactly what I said. And here I am four years later with over five or six or seven, eight hundred videos and you guys are coming to the cafe slowly but surely. And I'm just thankful that you guys have a chance to sit down and let me stop talking about me and get on to the baptism of Jesus. Okay. Then Jesus, a man of God, Emmanuel, came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. Now, the Jordan River, to cross over to the Jordan River, I learned this early on through the medicine or God's magic. It just kind of says, what about... Fresh water and salt water and the waters above in Gen 1 6 because that's the separation of water. Pure water above, salt water down here, and that is what Paul speaks about in the separation. So there is a definite separation in the air we breathe. It is the cloud of CNH, curds and honey, pure air or the imperfect, smog-filled, regular air that confuses us and gets us angry and we have to go to work and make money because we don't want to read the book and study and actually pass any of the question and answer tests, which is basically a Q&A if you go to school and any one of these prophets will tell you. So here's the baptism that we're learning about Jesus. But John tried to deter Jesus from being baptized by saying, I need to be baptized by you, and you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so for now. It is proper for us to do this. Very key. It is good. This is the good thing. This is the good news. It is proper for us to do this, to fulfill what is written in the Torah for sure, to fulfill, listen to the words, And you can separate it out between the un and then the other side, but listen to the words. To fulfill all righteousness. So now we have a definite separation. Righteousness and the unrighteousness. Believers in the air and unbelievers that they think that they're saved, which is everybody who I would like to wake up gently, as in honey, honey. It's time to wake up versus a military fireworks in your brain wake up, which at that point, we're back to brain waves. So, but John said, I need to be baptized by you. Jesus replied, let it be so for now. Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. Did Did you get it? Verbally, you may not have seen it, but consented. He agreed based on the scent. It's a familiar scent. It's a family tree. And the scent 
consciously says, oh, I'm good with that idea. That is a good idea. And as soon as Jesus was baptized, okay? So we've all been baptized by water. Some haven't, but some have been in water, whatever. Some take a bath. The Sabbath is not water-based. It's fire-based. It is a chemistry experiment because it's Hashem's tree. Chem's tree. Chemistry. So as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened up. The idea, the feeling, the rush. Oh, wait, what was that? The rush of cannabis, the rush of hash, the rush of Shana. At that moment, heaven was opened up. And he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. Now, the description of Jacob versus Esau is he saw Jacob. <laughs> he saw the spirit of Jacob, which is the aroma. So he's like, oh my goodness. Now, here's where my name comes in. And I just know because CD Air, Cedars of Lebanon, I was actually born at Lebanon in the city of Los Angeles. Um, and other puns on the word. But here it is, in off, in offering, in of, is all O-F. So dove is now D-O-F, which is D-O-F-F, or dafe, or kane, or kafe. Here it is. At that moment, heaven was opened up, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him, and a voice in your head is now wake up time. The light's on. Come on, sweetheart. Time to wake up for school. We have to go study Torah. And a voice from heaven. So this is now the voice from heaven. Said, this is my son. I recognize him. It's the smell of my son. Whom I love. Genesis 27, 27. The blessing. So we just talked about being cursed. Who told you to run? You brought of vipers. You who are cursed. So the cursing and the blessing goes back to Jacob. And here's the descendants of Jacob. And a voice from heaven said, This is my son. How does he recognize the son? by the smell of his clothes, and it literally says, Ah, the smell of my son. May God give you earth's richness and heaven's dew, manna, and abundant grain, new wine. So you're not whining about your old and you don't have wine to be drinking. You actually get a new tune and a new fresh start and new olive oil, and all of that is for the temple. So the voice of God from Exodus 19 and Exodus 20 and all throughout to Deuteronomy in the burning bush, the voice in your head, your memory system. And a voice from heaven said, This is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased with the satisfying and pleasing aroma of Christ. So if you're a man of God and you can feed God in the temple, Baruch Hashem. God bless.